Hi, my name is Pete Gutwein, and we've been looking at doing some minor repairs to mowers. And now that we've taken the carburetor off and we've cleaned it, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the carburetor. Um, <clears throat> right back on the mower here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have this little rubber gasket. You know, it fits over the tube that the carburetor mounts on here. Now it's hard to see, but you just slip the, the rubber gasket right over the top there. Then you can go ahead and get your carburetor up there pretty close. And then you want to reinstall the linkage and the hole on the, on the butterfly valve here. Kind of just turn it up there. And then you can you can kind of let it hang and you can get your bolts here. Put it through the carburetor. And I just started by hand. The next step is going ahead and uh, putting your fuel line back on and then pushing the clamp back on there and then this one has a primer line you go ahead and just push the primer line on right there and then you just you can install after you've done those two things you can install the uh, the car or the air filter backing plate um, kind of just want to brush it off there it's kind of dirty and this one has a breather hose on it. You want to make sure you get that breather hose back on the tube right there as you kind of line it up. Then you can put the three bolts back on here. The next step after that, after you get that backing plate on, would be to go ahead and get your air filter back on. Uh, just line up the three tabs there and put it back on there and use your 5 16 nut driver. Go ahead and get it tight. And that would be installing a carburetor.